Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how to unlock the FPS for a Prince of Persia: The Forgotten Sands. If you use the Steam version or probably any other version, you will see that the game is only running at a uh, 60 FPS. So let me show you right now. Uh, if you go right there, it's locked at 60 FPS and it's only using 35% of my GPU. So it's not a hardware problem. Okay, so let me quit this and um, Okay, one solution that I tried to do, I went to the uh, my NVIDIA, NVIDIA control panel, and I selected, let's see, um, I selected Prince of Persia here. You go to manage 3D settings, uh, Prince of Persia. This, this solution did not work, just so you know, uh, but just for reference. So what I did, I just turned vertical sync off, and that, uh, unleashed the the uh, the frame rate to above what above 60 however it was causing screen tearing because the problem is that the game itself is locked at 60 frames per second uh, 60 Hertz so anything above 60 Hertz or 60 FPS would cause screen tearing and you don't want you don't want that so the way around this is to change the uh, the actual um, the, the in game refresh rate so the way to do this you go to this website called special k um, it's in the description the link for that and you come down to installation and then you hit latest stable it's gonna download automatically right here so uh, and then you just click this you install the whole thing you go i'm not gonna install it again just hit max agree and all that stuff you, you guys know how to do that okay once that is done um, it's gonna pop up this page right here, right? This is what you got right now Once it, it is installed. So you're gonna go here getting started Click go to the library tab. It's gonna show all your games. You're gonna hit Prince of Persia the Forgotten Sands You launch the game and you wait Wait the game loads once it's loaded you just close the game and then what you're gonna do You're gonna go to your documents right documents page. So mine is right here documents and then you find my mods, special K, go all the way down to profiles, and you find Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sand. So it's right there. And then you click special K, it's gonna open this notepad. Um, these are some of the game uh, options you can change if you understand some of it. I don't understand most of it, but what I do understand is that if you come all the way down to render frame rate, and then you find the refresh rate. By default, it's gonna be one or zero. I think it's one. Okay, so you go ahead and change this to the refresh rate of your monitor. So because my monitor is at 120 hertz, I just change it to 120. If your monitor is 144, you change it to 144. After you're done, you just click here and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna save it? You just click yes and you wanna save it. So. Now all you have to do is go back to this page right here to the special K application and then you select the game, uh, in this case Prince of Persia, and then you click launch and it should, should work. That should be all. So as you can see guys, 120 hertz. Also make sure to, um, let me show you how it's working. Uh, okay, it's working, should be working just fine, the game. So far, it's working with no issues, no bugs or anything. And just one more thing, make sure you have V-Sync turned on for this game. Otherwise, you can have horrible screen tearing. So there's two ways you can do this, right? You can turn V-Sync on on your um, control panel. If you have NVIDIA, an NVIDIA graphics card, you can go to an NVIDIA control panel. There should be something similar for an AMD graphics card. Otherwise, you can just go to the Steam library if you have this game on Steam or wherever your game is installed, you click Manage, um, Properties, and then you go to Local Files, um, Browse, it's gonna take you to this page right here, right? It's where your game is installed. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna find this icon right here, it's called Game Settings. So right there, Game Settings. You click on it, and then you can do a bunch of things here. You can change resolution, widescreen, and then you can click vertical sync. And if if you have like a, a somewhat new GPU, 
you just go ahead and crank it all the way to eight times to get the best quality out of it. Uh, I put everything in high, high resolution, resolution textures. And after that, I just hit click OK. And I, I'm not going to select this because I already selected VSync on my NVIDIA control panel. So it wouldn't make any difference. But that's one solution. And that's it. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you. And if you have any questions, just let me know.